talk about the you know, exciting season on tap. Rob, you had something? Yeah, uh, for Mr. Gossett. Uh -huh. um, um, I'm an old Red Sox fan, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you came in, you used to just blow people away. <laughs> I mean, that's, can you teach that? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I, well, that's one of the reasons that uh, I like that, that challenge that uh, Louis, you know, talked to me and do it and, and win the ball. That's what I want to do. You know, I just wanted to help that uh, guys that uh, they lean a lot and uh, you, especially young guys, uh, like uh, Louis says, there's a lot of guys with experience in a triple A level and a big league level. So it's going to be uh, just a little bit it, it changes, but you know, that's one of the reasons I'm here. Just trying to help him out, get back to the organized uh, baseball out there to see if he got a chance to be in the big leagues again. But uh, that, that's the reason I'm here. Just trying to, you know, teach those guys how to how to do in, the, in the, any kind of situation in the game, whatever. Uh, Louis bringing them in again or whatever. They, 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 I like I like the group of guys that we have because they ask a lot of questions, and I love that. I like it. They ask me, hey man, what to do in this situation? What did I throw against that hitter? And, you know, that's the type of guy I am. I keep communication with the with starting pitch, uh, pitchers, top pitchers. And uh, that's why you get, uh, you know, that like momentum and you get to win the whole time, you know. If we get a little communication and everybody, I think we're going to we're gonna do something. Yeah. Thank you. Sean, did Pete Rose give you any advice on being a player and coach? Uh, just stand or just answer it? It's fine. Um, Pete Rose, yeah, I was here when he, when he came by and uh, – He's a he's very to the point direct. He was a direct guy. He, he didn't he didn't he didn't have too much information pertaining to you know baseball or anything. It was kind of you know it was it was, it was basically play your hardest, play your best, and try to get out of here. You know because you know right now this is a great league and this and that. But he kept going on with stories about the big leagues and that's where you want to be because once you're there, you are in the minors. That's the that's what you're familiar with. But uh, you know he was just he just, he was a hustle guy. He was a grind it out guy. So he kind of gave us a little pep talk and. And uh, you know, told us just to keep going after it, go after your dream, never give up until they, they yank that jersey off of you. Um, Shet, I know you brought in uh, Tony and Bryu and Alberto Cayasco for your middle infield spots this year. I know you had a solid combo with uh, Hernandez and Rodriguez last year. So, what do you think those two guys can bring to the ball club this year? And I don't know if Burroughs and Alapadeo, if you guys have had um, experience playing against those guys or with them. Well, I talked to Tony from the beginning as soon as we started spring training. Um, we waited on Hernandez. We still got, you know, back in the country, they had a lot of issue with the government and stuff like that. So he's going to be a little bit late with us. Uh, we expect him to be here at any time soon. So I also talked to Tony. He said he had a play time in shortstop in the past. And I said, well, you might have to go, you might have to gonna be the guy for the opening night. I mean, it's the same ground ball to me, I think, but you see you guys skills, you know, I, I hope you can get it done. I say take Ron Bosa and short. I talked to Jasper. He played second before, past two winners. He played in Venezuela. I saw him playing third. I saw him playing first. I saw him playing second. So I think those two guys combined with the 16 year with major league experience, they will get it done for us. So I like to be focused on the middles for the defense. So I think it's pretty solid so far. They haven't making it. Well, actually we made one error in Long Island, but it happens part of the game, but I think they will get it done. When Hernandez gets here, then we see what I can do. So for, for the, right now, then that's the guy that they're going to start for me. Uh, Jonathan, um, you know, uh, you had an outstanding year last year. Uh, do you feel any pressure now to uh, repeat that, or are you just going to go uh, be yourself? No, 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 not at all. Like, I mean, like, this is just baseball, you know, you're going to continue to do the same job, so, like, I just gotta come back here and try to do the same thing, you know, no pressure at all. Like it's fan game. You're just gonna have to throw strike at that hitter and try to do your best. But I mean like if it happens again, it's more than welcome, but if it's not, you know, it just it's just baseball, it's just gonna happen. One of the ten bases I'm gonna touch there what he says, uh this Lee, everybody knows about the Lee now. When I first came here in two thousand eight, you talk about Lanny Lee, nobody has proof. Ah, that's in the Premier League. Like nobody goes there. Nobody wanna watch this game. Now you guys watch any sports, special and baseball, they all talk about the Atlanta League. And I feel proud of that because we bring in guys here that we also want guys to go back to the Major League level. For example, 
we had last year. We had Lopez, or catcher. He started here, played a few games, go to AAA, next thing you know he's in the big league. Pitchers, same thing. But sometimes it takes time. It's got to be the right time. Maybe this year he lost 12, he gets picked up. Who knows? That's how crazy baseball is. You know what I mean? <laughs> he did the best. He won 15. He struck out many guys he could. Hey, I'm still here. Well, I'm going to double all those numbers. Hey, maybe it don't work that way and he getting picked up. So I think it's pretty good for him to come back and compete again. It shows me that he still want to do it. And I really feel proud that I made the comeback for us. Carpenter in the big leagues last year? No. no. He went to AAA when he got picked up, and somebody else got sent out from the major league, and he, they released him, and we got him back again. This year, he was in the big league camp, and they released him, we took him back again. What big league camp was he in? He was with Tampa Bay, I believe. Mm -hmm. So right. he threw a few good innings, and he, base was crazy, you know. Hey, we sent down the catch. Okay, Carpenter, you're going. Well, I'm not a catcher. Well, we got it. We need to find the roster. So that's how baseball is. That's See, if you really do the math, I mean, you, you never know where you're gonna be. You know where you're gonna be. You know, I, I, I tell you guys for experience. I was in AAA for the Rex in Pawtucket, and Jason Varity got hurt that year in 2002. I was there. And my manager, Bodie Bailey, he scratched my name out of the line. I said, Hey, Louis, maybe you the guy. Next thing you know, they crow by Brian Nelson. You know, Brian Nelson not a catcher. He's an infield. There he goes Louis back to Triple. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to pack. I remember that. Happened. You know, so yeah. if you really look at it, like a catch is getting hurt, why you call up an infield? So I just continue to play. <laughs> so, but that's how crazy baseball is. Sean, I wanted to ask you, um, what's it like coaching now? <clears throat> um, like, you know, I'm, I'm just getting my feet wet, really. Like Louis said, I'm a player coach, but I think I'm a. I'm a player first, and you know I'm here to kind of hear what these guys say. You know I'm in the, kind of in the background. I'm, I'm uh, you know there to help with the hitters, to help them flip, take some swings before the game. Uh, hopefully throw, start throwing some BP here soon. We'll see how the old how the old wing holds up. But uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean I you know just work with the guys. You know it's just it's 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 incrementally just sm you know, bit by bit, more by more. Uh, I'm not going in there. Messing with the lineups, or going to tell who's swinging it good. These guys know better than I do. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously focused on getting ready for the game myself. But at the same time, I have a you know a little extra, extra to do to work with these guys. It's fun, you know. I mean, I, it, 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 with me, it always takes a little bit, a couple of weeks to kind of get to know the guy. So let let my true personality come out of the bag per se. You know, and they, these guys will get to know you. But I mean. So far, it's it's been good just talking with these guys in the cage and in the, in the clubhouse, and everyone has a real understanding that, you know, coming in this league, it's it's, I mean, this is my fourth year here, and, and it's really you, you you get in the playoffs, you know, first play, first half you're in the playoffs, you know, win the second half, and, and when that first half is, it's huge, uh, you know, that in April May, I mean, you you get off, you got to get, I mean, really you have to get off to a good start, and you, know, you can't kind of take the first couple weeks and say ah, you know. But, Swing's not there, pitching's not there. We'll get better. You gotta, you gotta start winning right out of the gate, because you know if you're gonna come out and you know be one and twelve or you know two and two and ten of the first twelve, I mean it's it's a uphill climb and it's it's tough. So I think a lot of these guys have that understanding that you know the landing gig, everyone's coming out and you gotta go. And it's it's not we're not we're not getting guys at bats, you know, ready to move up or you're not getting pitch limits. We're going out there to win. And if you're not swinging it or whatever, he's gonna. You know, put the guy in that swing in a hot hand or throwing well, and you got to go with your best hand because uh, it's about it's about winning. It's not about you know getting your getting your at bats or getting your seasoning for, to move up. Because right now there's no moving up. I mean, there's 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 moving into an organization or there's moving into Japan or something or whatever you're 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 looking at your destination. But you know, right now we focus on the task at hand, and that's as a bluefish, and that's to that's to win right away. Nice. Yeah. Want to talk about the rings? What was uh, the Bluefish history on rings, right? championships? Yeah, so we have one championship in 1999 the, under the helm of Willie Upshaw, and that's the uh, sole Bluefish championship so far in the 20-year history. And who won it last year? Last year it was Sugarland. Sugarland. Sugar yep. But we're starting. So hopefully you had we get to uh, last year. Went to a couple games. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully we can. Uh, no, show them a little something. The defending champ, going, going to face the defending champs right away. 
but he talked about getting off to a fast start mm -hmm. because of the because of the way the season structure it has. He opened seven games in Texas. So yeah. what are you gonna do to uh, I don't wanna say deal with that, but, but motivate him, right? You know. Louis, what do you think? Seven games in Texas to open, that's not ideal, right? Well, I kinda like the idea to go to warm weather a little bit. I mean, a lot of these guys, they're not used to the wind, the fair is behind, you sure. know, all of that stuff. Texas is pretty warm. We did it last year. Mm -hmm. It's like you're playing the winter league. It's like the Caribbean, you know. It's right. 90 degree, 98 degree, high, humid, you know. Mm -hmm. So I kind of like the idea we're going back to open the season over there. And hopefully by the time we're coming back, it's a little warm here. And on the other end, I, I'm thinking of half of my team, they were in spring training. Those guys, they, they, they've been ready. I mean, they've been working out. It's not like they stayed at home for seven months. So it makes a big difference when you have a club that, like Sean said, well, I get it tomorrow, and I get it tomorrow. They might not be tomorrow. Because <laughs> here, I'm not developing players. Here, I'm here to win. So if you're not getting it done, you, you know, there's ain't no 800 players looking for that spot. Right. So I tell a lot of time, the players, I talked to uh, Paul, Ryan, and say, when you talk to this guy, I need you to be here first day, ready to go, because it, we have only two days of practice, and we have four exhibition games. Right. So it's not a lot of time for you to get ready. You know, I let me do a couple laps. Uh, tomorrow I take a long toss. So when you come here, you pretty much got to be 70 or 75% ready to go. So, because we don't have a lot of long stretch for spin training. So I, I have a good feeling about the team. They, a lot of these guys have been swinging the bat pretty good. I mean, we play four exhibition games. And we have 10, 12, 14 hits. So it tells me that we're going to hit. Now we see what my pitching is doing. So it's, it's, it's both, it's combined, it's together. Pitching, different. Sometimes you hit and you don't pitch. Sometimes you pitch and you don't hit. So we hope they're all together from right out the gate. Yeah, Louis, you're, you, you're a pretty good catcher. You, you see yourself uh, maybe throwing yourself out there one day? No, no. 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 Days are gone. I know I still can do it, but uh, one of the things that I told myself, uh, when you when you say that's it, that is that's it. I mean, I don't... If you said that's it? Yeah, I said that a while ago. And I don't miss it because I think I got beat up pretty good. Yeah. So, 24 <laughs> years behind the plate, I mean, there's a lot of squad. And that's a lot of things gone, mm -hmm. never had any surgery, any, any problem at all, knee, back, anything, so... And I also learned how to play with pain this I mean, you get hurt a little bit and ah, 15 day in the L, 20 day, it's not gonna do it. You just hear fooling around. So you have a pain, you gotta fix it. You need to play tomorrow or next day or next day. It's gotta hey, be back. Congratulations, that's great. You know, so thank you. And I just, I put my uniform and I get it done. How? I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> God will have some answer for you. Can you tell us about your, your rotation? Uh, so right now, if nobody calls me tonight, and take a few of these guys. You got anything, Sean? No, I was going to touch on how he asked about Sugarland. I mean, he said, how are we going to do it? Is that what he said? What that, how are we going to do it? I mean, it's, it, it's very peculiar. The, you know, we're, we're on there for seven games, and you're used to maybe, a, you know, there's three, usually it's three, maybe four game sets in this league, and then all of a sudden we're out of the shoot in, in Texas. You know, for seven games, and it's that's a road trip. It's it's a road trip. It's and it's, but at the same time, you, there's two sides of the coin. I mean, they're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be facing basically their pitch. It's two, same two guys. You know, two starts. We're going to get into their bullpen. We're going to see all their arms. So by the fourth game, we're going to know you know offensively who's what they have and this and that. So it's, you know, it's it's actually an advantage. I mean, I think after that fourth game, it's all. You know, up in the up in the dome, it's all mental. It's all a lot of guys go, oh man, we got another game against these guys. Oh god, you know, there's two or three more games. Like, you know, you can you can get in the, you can you psych yourself out easy, and uh, so it's all going to be about kind of just just that positive thinking, that that positive affirmation that okay, a couple more games, let's grind it out, let's do it. You know, we'll be back opening against a, a new squad in a couple of days. Let's just do it. I mean, no matter what. It, you know, it's it's inevitable. You're gonna have those four at bats. You're gonna have to play those 27 outs. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to do it. You know, it's not like ah, oh, it's let's rub a genie and have it be over with. You know, what I'm saying it's uh, so I mean, it's all gonna be mental after that fourth fifth game. And and they're, they're a whole new squad. We're a whole new squad. You know, they're not the you know the, you know they get the, probably their rings the first game we're there. I imagine or whatever. And and you know to kind of show in our face. But maybe that should just make us a little bit more hungry to to, to be where they're at and for next year. 
Okay, I have my rotation for game one. I have Cody Reardon. In my second game, we'll go Michelle Valadejo. Then I have Chris Reardon. And I have Charlie Brewer. Lara Badama. That's what I got so far. If you miss anything, I'll take your help. It's, uh, I think that's, if, for one, if you don't love baseball, I don't think you're going to be here, you know, I and mean, it's not the, it's a fun league and, you know, fun parks and fun fans, but you, you got to really love it, you know, you got to be, be willing to play in front of, no matter if it's 40,000 or 42, you know, and it doesn't matter if you're, you're eating steak, you're eating a PB and J, you know, I, I love it, and uh, <coughs> I was, I was, yeah, I was in the, in the, I mean, this is the first organization in the in this league that I was with, and obviously I want to, you know, as I'm finishing out and I'm finished my time in this league, I want to, uh, you know, be here and I want to help them uh, get to the playoffs. I was fortunate to be in the playoffs a couple of years ago with the team across the pond. Uh, I mean, it was it was fun, and that's what you want to do. I mean, obviously you want to win it all, but you know, bringing it back here, I think it it would, uh, you know, not only in our best interest, but for the fans and everyone. I mean, we want to do it for. City of Bridgeport, like these guys saying, get a ring for the organization for these guys who've been waiting a long time, and uh, you know, just just be kind of the trailblazer for people to want to come to Bridgeport and watch games and come here and play, and and uh, you know, I've always had a great time. Before we have time for maybe about one or two more questions, if there are any anything else lingering, any other questions for the gentleman up here? Uh, I know you had experience coaching Team Venezuela in the World Baseball Classic a few years back before you're you know, the guy now here in Bridgeport. How did that experience help with your uh, coaching regimen now? Um, yeah, that was exciting for me. Um, I had a, I had an opportunity back in 2009. Uh, I was a good friend, uh, good friend of my Bobby Abreu, so I was one of his buddies. So he was in the team and. He kind of keep telling me, hey, let's go, let's go, you know. And so I went over there and I, you know, I watched it from the stand. And something's kicking in my head. I said, man, that'd be awesome being in that field with all these major league guys, you know. Uh, four years later, uh, Luis Soho called me and, you know, he asked me if I want to be part of the team. And I said, hey, you know, I'm going to thank you for asking me that, you know. I'm, I don't mind and I like to learn, you know. I want to be around the good players in baseball. So I got the opportunity to go over there and learn a lot. Um, they learn from me, and I learn from a lot of them. Um, there's a lot of time people that they think because those guys they won the big league they're really good. Maybe they were good some staff, you know, somebody else helping, but they were good there. They were there for a reason. So I always I was the type of guy that I asked, and you know, pretty much at that time we had six coaches, but they were managers and winning ball. You know, like if you look at it this year, same thing. You know, you have Eddie Perez and you have Omar Vizquel and you have. Carlos Garcia, all those guys, they manage in the winter league. So pretty much the whole coaching staff, they manage it. So I was watching what they do. Why don't they bring the lefty or why, you know, it's a, it's a catchy thing. You're always thinking to you go sleep, you know. It's, it helps me out a lot to learn. And and I feel like that was the end of my career as a player. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to prepare for the next step if there was a chance. So. As the Brewfish, they offered me a job first time as manager, and then I took him. So this year I was supposed to go. I told them, no, it's not that I'm big shy now, but you know, I want to spend time with the family. And you know, I, w I was going for four months to the winter league. So I got back at the end of January, and I said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to miss you guys, but I maybe another four years I will see you guys. So hopefully they ask me again. It's not like I wasn't excited. It's excited to be around those guys, but. I done it before, so it's like okay, I like to spend time with the family and I go there. So it was a pretty good experience. All right, that's going to uh, do it for the question portion today. But uh, we would like to 